people. I'm Father Regis Scanlon. I'm talking to you once again from St. Francis of Assisi Friary in Denver, Colorado. And I've come to speak to you today, <coughs> hopefully, to lift up your spirits a little bit. I want to try a little mixture of seriousness and lightheartedness. The lightheartedness has to do with my encounter with a hawk. Now, I'm not talking about a little bird. This is a big hawk. And the hawk's name is K. Just a K. It's K. And I was making a retreat at Cabrini Shrine last week. And a friend of mine was there. And that's his hobby or job. He has his hawks. And he had this hawk. And he said to me, would you be courageous enough to let the hawk eat out of your hand? And I said, well, sure. I'm not afraid of that. And of course, I, I said, let's set it up. And of course, I pretended that I was like St. Francis. Francis, he listened to pigeons and spoke to them the word of God. So I would be listening to a hawk speaking the word of God. Of course, I know that there's no comparison between St. Francis and me. You know, the similarities are dwarfed by the dissimilarities with regards to Francis and I. I know that. But anyhow, after I had this little divergence from my retreat, a little break from the prayer, I went back to prayer. And during this prayer, I thought about the hawk and how it's a predator. They're magnificent birds, beautiful, but they are predators. And I thought about our poor homeless women. I have, I have a plow place we call it the Julie Greedy Home. It's Julie Greedy Home Incorporated. It's on the, there's a website. And we have a home in which we help women get on their feet. They're able to get out back once again on the, uh, in, to gain independent living. So they can be on their own. And a lot of them have come from rough backgrounds, some from just normal backgrounds, but they lost their, <coughs> excuse me, lost their economic status or their money or, and they've come to some, some tough situations too. But anyhow, I thought about these poor women when they have no place to go and they're on the street. I mean, all kind of stuff can happen to them. They can be sexually molested, they can be beat up, they can be murdered. All kind of things can happen to them. And if for some strange reason, I'm not quite sure why, people seem to be willing, more willing, to help women and children but when it comes to just the unaccompanied, unaccompanied single woman, they just don't have no compassion. I shouldn't say that. I don't mean they have no compassion, but for some reason, they just don't help them. So those poor ladies are on their own. There's nobody more lonely than someone who has nobody, like a poor woman. And so that's why we have our home. But anyhow, I thought of these poor women during my prayer and I thought, just like the poor creatures are, they have to hide from the hawk. So these poor women, they go on the street and they have to find a place to go and who, who do they trust? And they have to hide a lot of times, really, because there's so many predators out there. They're all over the place. Now, as you know, with the coronavirus and all these things, inclement weather, all these things going on, they have a tough, tough time. So anyhow, uh, so if you can help us, in your prayers especially. My Capuchin brothers and myself, I have a couple of Capuchins that work with me in this issue on these matters and the Julie Greedy home. We have this home. And so, please, if you could help us, we'd appreciate it. Also, though, we want your prayers. That's more important, believe me, that is, than anything else. And to give you a little bit of light-hearted uh, entertainment, we'll include the, the video that they took of me my courageous stand to be able to feed that hawk. And now let you judge whether I was courageous. Okay? All right. God bless you. Please pray for us, Capuchins. We'll be praying for you.